What is up, YouTube? Soul here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. In the last episode, we basically had gone to Tunlin to find out that the Queen had gotten cursed by, I guess, something evil inside of her tummy. And with that, we were told to get some old man to help us, by which we had to go mushroom hunting, so hooray! And now that we've solved that problem, now we should be on our way back. There are a few things I will come back to here. Uh, should I get it now? I suppose I should, but now eh, they're not really important. They're just extra items here and there. So, first things first, let's heal up. Very nice. And here, yeah, drink the water. We got all powerful again. And yeah, I do apologize for the delay in the episodes. Uh, I got really busy with my other projects. If you do watch my channel, mostly the uh, Project 365 and a lot of family stuff that uh, took precedence. So yeah, uh, hopefully on this, on that note, I should be able to record more episodes. And I actually want to see if the town has grown any bigger. It should have at this point, but you never know these days. And let's see, did it grow? Mm, no. Mm. I think actually what we can do is, if we go in and out of the town a few times, it actually increases it. Let me see. Da. Da. <laughs> oh, I love doing this. Actually, I have to be right back. I and I am back, guys. Sorry about that. I uh, had to take care of something. And, but on that note, as you can see, the town has changed. And guess what? Our town has now increased from three houses to the whopping six. That means now we have the maximum size house that we desire. Excellent. And now, with that note, I'm going to recruit a few more townsfolk that will make this journey that much easier. Now, the first townsfolk we're going to get happens to be in the same area we got our very, very first townsfolk, and that is in the town of Township. But, of course, we're getting into a fight. Let's go beat up some monsters. Ha ha ha, die. Ha 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 ha. Sorry. <laughs> you would think that after this point they would uh, not fight us anymore, but they don't because they don't learn their lesson. Now, in order for us to get this town as folk, it must be the daytime, so let us get to the daytime. Beautiful. And let us go into town. Just as beautiful. And I believe he's in here. Is he in here? He could not be. Let me see. Hello, person. Oh, there he is. I think that's him. Yeah, I think that's him. So... Yeah, uh, the reason why I take this guy, and there is a very good reason, is number one, he's the only character in the game, yes, Hans, and I want to recruit him, yes, yes, item shop, yes, I will take you there, yes, cool, so, the reason why I take him, and I'm going to show you now, because the other characters that I do want to get, well I'm going to get the other person next, which I will show you as well, and will require a little bit of warping, which is very cool because Jean is our resident warper for now. So we're going to do this, we're going to go inside Grandpa the Whale, who sings his Grandpa the Whale song, hip hip ray. Alright, anyways, so we're going to go back into Township, and... I think he's in here. I could be wrong, though. No, I was wrong. Uh, let's let's loot the house first, though. Nothing. Beautiful. What a waste of time. <laughs> I think he's in house number five. Yes. Okay. So, Hunt. He's an item shop. Now he is the only character in the game, and this is true that can sell you accessories. So, charm blocks curses, you'll increase defense, you can prevent sleepiness, you can increase wisdom, increasing guts, condition up and medicate. Now, I'm gonna take, for the time being, two iron bracelets because now that increases our defense, which is great for us. Now, on that note, I'm going to also swap out a character, and we're gonna go here right now. We're going to go to the dragon. Actually, we can go into here, as a matter of fact. 
So everybody leaves. Da da da. Oh. And we're gonna go here. Yep, Nero. We're gonna change a party member. Yes, we are. Now on the next set of missions, I am definitely going to want a healer. So I'm gonna take Bo. I'm still gonna keep Jean because I like to, you know, have the variety of characters. And I'm gonna take Nina. So we have a healer, a caster, a utility character, and yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to justify having Jean in my party. He's really not anything special, but he does have warp, which is really good for us. Uh, should I put the shaman on Nina? Yeah, we should shamanize Nina. Just because I, I really do like the offensive support that Nina can have once she has that wisdom increase. And I should have gotten a wise hoop, but eh, it is what it is. So we have Nina. Can Bo get anything? And he can get Sana. Oh, that's even better. So that means Bo is going to have the offensive power and Nina is going to have the magic offensive power. So we're going to be doing very well. Now, I told you about those iron bracelets. So because of Nina and her condition, we're going to give her that. And let's see, Bo is the next in line to get a iron bracelet. And I told you about the collar. And I'm going to give Bo the collar for the reason which will be shown soon enough. And I should also give Bo the... Oh, she has the crimson robe, so that's even better. Suede armor. Does Nina get anything? She has. The... Okay. And yeah, we're good actually. So pretty good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're doing pretty good. Uh, let's do this. And with Jean, our resident warper, he's gonna warp us to Windia. The reason why I am doing all this in terms of progressions is simple. I'm basically optimizing my town to allow me later on in the game to start building the best items in the game. And for me to build the best items, I need accessibility of certain other items. And this person is very unique as well. Day says he can't take it anymore. He really wants to open a fish store. So you know what? Let's make his dream come true. And the beauty of Day, and I'm going to say that, is he can sell fish. That means that we no longer have to farm for fish. And later on, when we start cooking, fishing items are so important to make very rare items. So, yeah. And then on that note, we're going to work to Tunland because for now, we've gotten everybody we want in town. The last person, however, is going to be very difficult to get. And the reason why he's difficult to get is because he only shows up once in the game. If you don't get him that one time in the game, it's pretty much a uh, chicken wrap, as I would say. <laughs> so yeah, we're doing pretty good. So yeah, yeah. I mean, feels pretty good. I actually been so busy on the weekends that I haven't had time to sit down and game, and it's actually very fun to do so. So yeah, <laughs> and I definitely miss doing this. So, I think we should practice rule number two. Because rule number one, we've been practicing consistently. But rule number two, however, gotta, you, you definitely gotta keep saving. Yes, we're gonna play, so. Sorry, I should stop doing that. <laughs> Twin bow, collar, yeah, we're good. Alright, so. Making sure that we're all equipped. Bo has his healing spells and his offensive capabilities. Old Man Ged is with the old lady and the queen, so let's go that way. And yeah, this looks like a pretty good party we have set up. We have Jean just being Jean, we have Bo being the healer, we have Nina being the caster, and let's rock and roll. Now he's gonna explain stuff. Ah, the equipment has been gathered, now let me explain. This mushroom will shrink all of you. Then I will use the magic to send you all into the queen's body. You will all fight the evil fatty in the queen's body. You hear that? Fatty. Fat is evil, and it must be killed by someone going inside them. <laughs> Sorry, I had to explain to my wife, because she just looked at me very weird. You must defeat all of them. To go in and out of her body, just talk into the mirror, and I will bring you out. You can also look outside the mirror, so be careful with it. I'm going to send you into her body now. Are you ready? Let's rock and roll. And on that note, I shall be right back. And I'm back. So sorry about that, guys. I uh, had to make sure I was well caffeinated because I decided to 
cave in, have a little bit of caffeine, so that way I can do this gaming part. So, Ged says, here we go, and let's rock and roll. From real life, inside the queen's body. Now, this could be a very long process, or a very short process, depending on how you do this. And I'm going to do this in a way that'll make the process a lot easier. So, with Bo having the collar on, our encounter rate will increase, which was what I wanted to do. Now, a good trick to do here is... You're going to look at your monster meter here, and you see he's moving around. And what you have to do is basically get it to the point where the monster meter falls asleep. So you're going to fight various monsters in this area, and you pretty much just have to defeat all the monsters. This is basically a kill everything request, but luckily, we're more than, welcome, more than capable at this point. So there we go, and we look again. And the monster's still up and about, so you just want to keep doing this. This, is, like I said, could be a very long process or a very short process, depending on how well you do this. So, yeah, if you didn't have the collar, it would take a little bit more time. It's the reason why I really did opt to get the collar at this point. If I had not, not get it, it's the only place you can get it, it would have really sucked. So, yeah. Whew. How do we do? Alright, this section is done. So you basically just want to look at where on the map you are as well. So we're still in the upper right. We want to try to keep in the upper right as much as possible until he says, well, I'll show you what he says. So anything in here? Nope. Everything is good here. Next section. And yeah, cool. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so like I said, this is, could be a very long part depending on how you prep for this. And there is a monster that we eventually have to fight called a fatty, so hopefully we'll encounter it soon. You actually have to make sure you defeat those, either by running away or having it killed. Ah. Still monsters, so... And upper right, upper right, up, up, right, upper right, upper right, upper right, right, right. And we can just kill this guy pretty quickly. You see how quickly we're going through this. And like I said, this this could be very long if you were not prepared. And let's see what he says. Yes, yes, that is the way. Keep it up. So that means that you are well on your way. There is one more thing he will say. And then that means that we would be done with the section. So, okay, good. I'm still in the upper right, which is really what I want to do. I really want to keep in each section because there are four sections upper right lower right upper left lower left I mean it's pretty pretty much not any rocket science here are we still in the upper right we are and look some monsters do encounter and you may be noticing that we're not getting any gold I would really hope that there are no, there isn't gold inside the queen because if there was oh good god that would be very cool very gruesome that means she's eating flies and cockroaches and worms and whatever else we're throwing at her and now we're fighting a Hemoglod. I'm guessing it's supposed to be Hemoglobin, but it's not. Alright. And watch Bo. Oh, just such a monster. Woo! Yeah, Bo. And that's the other reason why I wanted him in the party, because he's such a powerhouse. So powerful. And we're getting good XP here, too. I didn't notice that. So we're doing pretty good. Alright, and that's the beauty of the collar. And now we're fighting a Pepsion. Which I thought at first, when I first saw it, was a Pepperidge Farm, which would be really cool. Imagine you finding Pepperidge Farm cookies in a monster. You know, that would make more sense. Imagine you fought a cookie inside the queen. That would have been awesome. <laughs> or you fought, like, a worm or a cockroach or fried chicken. If I fought fried... That would be really crazy if you fought fried chicken inside of somebody. A cheeseburger. But then we'd be playing... It wouldn't be Breath of Fire 2. It'd be Burger Time if we did that. <laughs> and I think if... I think the whole idea of cheeseburgers would be ruined for me if I fought cheeseburgers inside of a monster. Actually, no. I take that back. I would... After defeat the cheeseburger, I would probably eat it. <laughs> Ooh. Bow gained heal. Yes. Heal's cool, because heal is cure-all, so very good. And, all right, still more monsters here, so yeah. I think 
Once I see the last monster I want to see, I'm going to start just skipping the fights. Okay, so some more Hemoglods. Not Hemoglobin, Hemoglods. And Bo, being the bad, the bad you know what he is, he's just mowing through these monsters like nothing. And Nina can't kill him just yet. One of them ran away because he's a bunch of, he's a punk. And Jean killed it. Excellent. All right, we're doing very well. And let's see. That part is perfect. That area is clear now. So that means that the upper right hand side is perfect. That means we will no longer encounter any monsters in the upper right area. So let us move on to the next area. I think this is the next area. This is the lower right. Okay, cool. So yes, we're going to do it in this manner. And like I said, I prefer doing it in this manner because it makes... That's upper left. We don't want to do that just yet. We want to keep one side and go to the other. And this is the upper left. So apparently it's telling us we must go to the upper left. So you know what? Let's... uh. Let's oblige, let's, let's oblige, let's acquiesce to this request. Yes, big words. And like I said, if you didn't have the collar once again, I recommend getting the collar early on. Alright. Nothing we can't handle. Ah, sorry about that. If you hear like little lapses in my narrations, I'm basically just having a drink as we speak. Not an alcoholic, so don't get the idea. I haven't touched alcohol in a long time. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. I think it's good, because... Alright, and I'm back, guys. As I said, I haven't touched alcohol in quite a while. And, yeah, I just encountered one of those fatty monsters I was telling you about. And unfortunately, the fatty monster, being the fatty it is, decided to run away from me. So, yeah. Three cheers for the fatty fatty. <laughs> yeah, so... This is one of these unavoidable situations where you actually just have to clear out stuff. And, like I said, it is really unavoidable, which is kind of crappy, but it is what it is. And look, that's what I was talking about. The, here come the fatties. So the fatties are very tough. Unlike fatty, fat stuff in general. And... Very... They do yield good XP, so you do want to try to kill them if you can. Oof! That hurt. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Oh. And they run away, of course. <laughs> and Bo says he's not having any of that. Look at those crits. Oof. Oof. Oh, the damage. Look at that. 6,000 XP just for one monster. So if we fought all three of them, we would have gotten 18,000 XP divided by four of us. That's a lot. Of, that's like almost 4,000 XP per person. That would have been huge. But unfortunately, Fatty being the fatty it is, decided to run away from me. So just want to heal up to make sure that I am well prepared for the next steps. And I think at this point, we've encountered all monsters that you can encounter in this area. So that means that the next series of fights, I'm going to skip over. And look at that! We're doing very well. So upper left hand is doing very well. So let's uh, keep up with the trend. So I really want to try to keep in just one area. Even if I end up end up another area, I try to just try to move back into the area that I was clearing out. It just really makes it easier to track what you're doing. And it's it's, it's like. And there we go. So yeah. Monsters can really screw up your day. And they did already. Boo hoo. Freaking monster took out Bo. But Bo being the man that he is, actually came back to life on his own. And I am back. So yeah. Those monsters are doing more damage than I thought they would be doing. Ooh, they are. Putting the hurt on my characters. Not really, but... Gotta make them feel better about themselves. So I'm gonna say yes, they tried to put the hurt on my character. Alright. 
This is the upper left. Good. We are actually doing well, well, very well. Well, well, very well. And I'm back. Yeah. Find more of those monsters. We're actually getting a good amount of XP, but the only penalty is at this point we are taking some good hits. It kind of sucks because one of those monsters, the Pepsin, or as I call them, the Pepperidge Farm. As I was saying, the Pepperidge Farm monster basically catch fire breath, which is which is kind of an annoying part. So right now, good news is we have done the upper left and the upper right. So now it is time to work our way down south so yeah shouldn't be too difficult considering all the paths we've taken you just have to basically track your way through it and as you can see here this is still upper left we want to try to find it and yet yeah, it, it's not hard to keep track of but it is kind of a hassle to get to because they do give you a lot of dead ends and dead spaces I don't know why RPGs in general do that. Like, I get like you you want to give the person the option to explore, but sometimes I feel the exploration part can be a tad unnecessary. All right, now we're down left. Beautiful. So yeah, we're pretty much well on our way to do going through this, and we're doing this pretty quickly too. So yeah, good news, obviously. All right, and we're back. And more and more that we do this area, the better off we are. And at this point, I'm not going to release really a dragon spell, so. I can also use Ryu, or Soul in my case, to do healing, so that's what I'm going to basically do. Him and Bo are resident healers, with Nina being able to do her offensive magic and Jean just being the... Alright, and as I was saying, you know, Jean being the foppish character that he is, with the heart of gold and the ability to warp, so... Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's sad that I justify him. I like to try to justify him. I try to make sure that I don't really neglect the characters that I bring into a game. Because, you know, everybody has their hidden qualities. And, yeah, even Jean has his good sides. Well, alright, and look at that. Great news. We are doing so very, very well. And let's see, did we kill out this area? No, we still got some more in here, so this is actually great. And it's crazy because if you didn't have the collar, this would take a lot longer. Like I've been just reiterating to everybody. And I'm back. Alright, cool. Very, very cool. I'm going to use Curing. Let's cure Jean because he took some heavy hits. And yeah, we're doing pretty well, so. Hooray! I think this is going to take us to the lower right. Yep. Not quite yet. We don't want to go here just yet, but we we will. That, that I promise you. And man, there's a lot of skipping in this area. Meaning, we skipped a lot of the monsters here. That's still gonna be the down right. So let us go to the down left. Let's go here. Let's go here. And I think this might be a dead end. I could be wrong, though. Nope! Oh, beautiful. Looks like he's dead. <laughs> no! Bo Collard, you have failed me. No, I'm kidding. He has done very well. Sorry, I like humming to the song. Keeps my mind going. Alright, cool. Yes, next area. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. You know, I, uh, we can show this fight. This one shouldn't take long. Yeah, so... See? We're, we're quickly killing the Ryu site. Pepperidge Farm is trying to, you know, get us to toss our cookies, but unfortunately, he wasn't prepared for the double attack of Bo, the hunter. Dun dun dun. Well, he's a ranger, but I call him a hunter. My character is just awesome. <laughs> and let's see. Ooh, Sean, calm down. Cure four. Aw, oh, man. What a jerk. Whatever. Ooh, Bo is just like, Bo is not playing. He's like, I want to get out of here. He is tired of being inside this fat queen, which is understandable. I wouldn't want to be inside of a person. 
like this is kind of weird and awkward and probably pretty scary. If someone was built this way, I don't know. I, I would think, I, I mean, it's understandably that something is wrong with them. Their, their body is built like a dungeon. <laughs> That's the new compliment of 2015, built like a dungeon. All right, let's uh, do that, let's do that. And Nina, let's cast half food. Wow, I just added accent unnecessarily to that, but whatever. Ugh, so many monsters, so annoying at the same time. And one Ryu site's gone. And let's do this. Fatty, take some damage. Fatty, take some damage. Like a monster's called a fatty. Can you see something that's fundamentally wrong with this? <laughs> uh, luckily that... Oh, Jean, do the piece de resistance. Yes, there is. Ha ha ha. Ooh, look at that XP. That was a lot of XP there. Ooh, that was so beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then we do the lower left. Yes! Alright, and we are almost done, so... That was not too bad. Ice, in my opinion, wasn't too bad. So let's... Cure, cure, cure... And... Bow. Why not? Who needs more healing? And you need healing, so yeah. Not bad, not bad at all. I, I think. All right, so now we are in the lower right. Cool. Last part. And yeah, we should uh, get through this in a matter maybe a few minutes. All right, so it wasn't too bad. Just going through our natural progressions. Uh, XP looks, hit points look good as well. So let's just keep going. The more we keep with this type of system, the faster we'll get through this whole dungeon. And I am back, and this section has been cleared out, so that is great news. And let's see, this is still downright beautiful, so let's keep up with the progression. And let's heal up, heal up. There we go. And great, we're actually just about done, which is awesome. So we just got a few more rooms of this area, and we have officially defeated all the fat cells of the queen, which means that she will have be saved. So everybody give ourselves a big snap. Beautiful. And yeah, we're just breezing through this, and hit points don't look too bad, so let's keep up with the trend here. And that's dead area, so... Let's try the next room. Yeah, so if you follow my strategy I'm using here, this area will go very quickly. And you know what? Uh, last set of monsters, let's just... Let's show it, because I think we're pretty much at the last room or two, and I think that it's okay to show the monsters at this point. You know? I mean, not too bad, not too bad. And I wonder how your weekend's going. So for me, I actually had a pretty good weekend. Uh, I actually made a cookie recipe. I just have to post a video up, which is going to be a lot of fun. And of course, Pepperidge Farm wants to, you know, revive its career. But unfortunately for him, he is encountering the nasty bow of twin bows. So yeah, not too bad at all. And you get some good XP too. So I mean, it's not bad for some level building so yeah and I think this is the area that I was in first that basically the guy was where we were we were in left and I went to the right so I actually want to keep in the upper area at this point and the reason why I want to keep in the upper area is if we have to go to other rooms it's easier to just backtrack to the rooms that we have not been to in this right hand side as opposed to going left and trying to loop around so yeah as long as I keep up the pattern I'm keeping up right now, and he's going to take out another monster. Beautiful. This is... The, the twin bow is just so powerful of a weapon. Especially when you start grinding up uh, power-ups. Ooh, the bow just becomes just devastating of the character. Ooh, and the demon dropped... Ooh, he dropped some lucky candy. Sweet. And we did it. Not bad at all, guys. What did you think? We actually overcame this whole situation. Thanks to you, the queen is saved. 
Queen will not be a demon. Oh, that's great news. I have not been saved. Now I'm so thin, I can't move. <laughs> Don't worry, leave it to me. You sure have lost a lot of weight. Poof. Not bad, I put a spell on you, gain some weight. You should be okay now. <laughs> oh, I reversed back, that's funny. Isn't this strange? <laughs> oh, so we promote... So now we're promoting bulimia, and then we just promoted anorexia. Fantastic, people. Don't, don't, don't learn this lesson. Just don't, don't listen to these people. You're perfect the way you are. Just remember that. You're not as good as you used to be. I guess you can't fight age. <laughs> How dare you? It must be hard for you to live on an island at your age. Why don't you return to the castle and live with us? After all, we need you to help the queen recover. Really? That makes me so happy. I never dreamed I'd be able to return to this country. It's all because of you, so I'm very happy. I thank you too. Thanks to all of you, I didn't turn to a demon. I'm a bit weak from being too thin, though. Well, I guess uh, all's well that ends well, I suppose. It's really thanks to him. I will leave the treasure chest door open. Please take whatever you'd like. Sweet. Maybe there's a weapon in there. Who knows? Be careful on your journey. Well, let's go get what we gotta get. So, I believe the treasure room. We just gotta go down here. We gotta go over here. And I think that's what they told us, right? This is the treasure room as a guard. All right. Well, let's go. Hey, wait a minute. What a ripoff. You know anything that happens? I've heard of it. This is the therapy pillow. Take it. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. So I think this is a great place to end it off here. So on, we were able to help the queen not turn to a demon. We got many, 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 many kudos for saving the queen. And on that note, we were able to get the third pillow that will help uh, Grandpa Tree and will go into his mind. So I think this best part end off here. If you like my videos, please help support by like, commenting, and subscribing to my channel, and as well as watch my other videos. This is Soul signing off on Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. I hope you all have a great day. Peace.